Hey there, folks. Welcome to the Stu's Game Reviews live stream. It is Thursday night, August 25th, 11.30 p.m. Eastern. It's too late. I should have started earlier. I'm, uh, I'm a slacker. I apologize. Let me start the Twitch stream. I don't slack any further. So, last, that last week, I decided to stream at 3 o'clock in the morning. And it was Lynx, the Challenge of Golf, which is uh, not a slacker, and it's all good. <laughs> it says Jim Leonard. Hey, Jim. And J-Rock is here as well, saying his body is ready, but his mind may not be prepared for this glorious golf masterpiece. So last week at 3 a.m. one night, I streamed... Or was it this week? I don't know anymore. I think it was this week. <laughs> I streamed Lynx, and uh, people liked it. And they said, hey, do you have any more courses? Or this is coming with one course, and the answer is... Their base game only comes with one course, but I do some other courses. Um, here, I don't know where the box is right now, but here's the disc, at least, for Lynx Championship Course, Piners Country Club. I will tell you that um, the DOS box like couldn't install it properly like with the, with the batch file that came with it because the syntax of the batch file doesn't work in DOS box, so I had to do some manual stuff to install it, but it's all installed up and running. So without further ado, let us go into the game and check out the exciting, amazing soundtrack that this thing rocks. It basically sounds like this, even if you don't have a sound blaster, by the way. Because these are the real sound thing that Lynx came up with, the Access software came up with. It's pretty impressive. Not very long, but... Pretty cool. Jim probably could talk more about that, but they had this real sound thing. Like you did like sound blaster quality sound through the PC speaker. Um, I think it's it's like nothing else really could go on for the most part while it was doing that. But like in, in count, the game Countdown, there's a part where this guy turns to and he says, "Get Scorpio." And he works even without Sound Blaster, and it's, like, really cool, actually. Same thing with Mean Streets, there's a few things like that. Jim says, they weren't the first, but they were the first to patent it, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, get in the game here. So I have a new course here, Pinehurst Country, which is in North Carolina. It's Course 2 from Pinehurst, apparently. This is Tory Pines, one that come with the game. I'm just going to play the default player, because I don't care. Default. And it's okay. Here's a picture of the course. Oh, by the way, if you if you played the last game, the last, you the last video, there's, I guess, the building, Resort and Country Club. It's a very, very beautiful resort. It's very nice. If you, if you, you were in the last, the last stream, you recall that I'm not very good at this game. Um, I think I learned a little bit as I went along, but probably not enough to actually be dangerous. The wind is blowing to the right, so I definitely want to move to the left here. Okay, let's see if I can actually hit this thing. That was a pretty good swing. I think I landed right in the sand, though. In the rough. I just missed the sand, luckily. Alright, this time I'm just going to hit it from here. Let me try to use, like, the 9 iron or something. I don't really remember the... I, think, I don't have the in front of me the list of what hits what this anymore, so I'm just going to wing it. That wasn't really far enough. I probably should use the driver. A little bit 87 yards. It was like a perfect hit. Maybe I should have used like not the nine iron, but the the one iron. But anyway, that's why that's why I need to look at the thing. Uh, whoops, 24 yards. Every yards the pin. Let's try this again. Oh, okay, here we go. Too far. 
So I'm not very good at this game. I basically hit it way, like, totally past it. <laughs> so that was, like, a w complete wasted stroke. Alright, let's try this one more time. I'll get better as we go along here, I think. I'm putting now. Right, so you can put the grid on. You see it's like a flat thing. So I want to move it over a little bit. So I'm actually pointing towards the hole. There we go. 23 yards is pretty far. I think. That was anywhere near close enough. Sheesh. I suck at this big time. How you folks doing tonight? <laughs> Come on! Don't hit the tree. I can't. I don't think I hit the tree from from this one. I'm just embarrassing myself as I'm doing. Ah! I should. I was too lazy to line it up again. I should have like moved it like this, you know, lined it up. Ah! Next hole I'm gonna do better. I promise. How many shots is that? Hundred? Another way to line up the shot is to click on the green and drag. Oh really? Let me try that. Plus six is pretty bad. Click on the green and drag. Oh. What is that I don't understand what does that do? That changes where I'm aiming? Is that really? Work? I thought I, I thought I'm always aiming straight. You're saying I aim towards the pole. Let's see what happens here. The wind is going to the right, so it's hard to tell actually. But let's see anyway. Go out of the road. Try to move way to the left. Yeah, good point. I'm just almost on the road here. Right, let's try to get way to the left. Yep. <laughs> well, I guess you're right about that. What ball out of bounds? Thanks a lot, Jim. You're right, but you're not not in a good way. Sit down. Holy crap. Well, again, <laughs> it didn't help. It was out of bounds anyway. They maybe redo it. Pretty close, though. It wasn't that penalty stroke. Maybe I'd be doing okay right now. Let's see. Uh, how do I do this? Ah, oh, too far. Damn. Way too far. See, the, the problem that I have is I don't know... I was using the wrong club. That's part of the problem. I don't really know which, um... Like, what, you know... What to, what, what clubs to use, and, and I'm sure that's killing me. 30 feet to pin. I was like dead on, but I hit it too hard, I guess. Alright, seven. That's better than last time. Let's try the next one. Seven feet to mark. Where am I trying to get to this time? I don't see. Like, I can't see. How can I see the course? Is that the other I'm trying to go to? Where's the marker? Oh, the marker is where I am. Okay. 
But does it help? Does it matter if I aim here or there? I don't see the uh, where I'm going. Let's tell me how far it is. So like, okay, I see at least or whatever. I'm aiming there. Nice if I knew what the shape of this course was. All right, now I see where I'm going at least. Uh, what club do I want to use? Too far. I think I had the tree, Jim. Looks like I hit the tree, Jim. Jim is even here for that. See, I just—if I was using the right club, then I would—I would have done that. See, I don't know what I'm doing. That's the problem. I'm in the sand. Wonderful. Uh, let's start of the sand. This will just aim properly, okay. Oh, I went to God there anyway because it slanted a little bit to the left. That was close. All right, that was seven also. I look, I this guy, like. <laughs> Is, there, is, is that a guy there? What happens when I try to hit him? It's probably, it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> I wish I'd like to hit him. Alright, there we go. That's a good shot. Ship. Get there. I just get there since I'm doing something right. Wow, I'm actually come on. There's a par five. Oh my god. There's only three strokes. Come on, man. You can do it. Oh! <laughs> Damn you! You better go in this time. This is so unfair. This is so unfair. I'm like freaking like Happy Gilmore. How can I miss that? Ugh. That was a par five, and I I, could, I should have gotten four if I would have if I could have putt properly. I pl I played so well aside from aside from the, the end. Damn it. Bad shot.
Hey Ninja, how's it going? I guess you gotta go if you're saying good luck with the rest of the course. <laughs> I'm getting better, but the, my putting is the problem. I had to go to the golf course work on my putts. That's a Mel Brooks joke. Sit down. Well, get down means. I guess it means I got it to where it's supposed to go. 31 feet. Yeah, never, never, never. The day that I could putt, like from here in this game, and like actually go in, is a day that actually maybe I have a chance of like playing this game properly. But as of right now, I don't think it's going to happen. I wasn't even on. I wasn't even on track. See, I'm, my aim is off. That's part of the problem. Six, better than ten. Ninja's right about that. Two hundred fifty yards. Tell me a software collecting story. What kind of software collecting story do you want to hear? Hey, Nicola, I just did turn the grid on, it did, but it didn't help. Oh, shoot. In the rough. Pretty close, though. Dealer's choice. Um, okay. There was one time when, well, I did, but not for the, maybe when you joined, probably was right after I had the grid on. I turned the grid on for the first first time I put, and then I turned it off after that. Um, when I was, like, just barely, I don't know, when I, when I guess I just started using eBay, there was a guy, I remember his username, but I won't reveal it, and he used to list tons and tons of stuff on eBay. This must have been like in 1998, I'm guessing. And what I remember was he he basically lived in Staten Island, and I lived in Brooklyn at the time. Oh crap! Way too far. Hey, Luis. See, the grid didn't do shit for me, by the way. Just 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 for you know for clarity's sake. There's a par three. And uh, basically, I was really, I was so cheap at the time. Well, let's, I wasn't really cheap. I was so poor at the time. You shut up, Nicola. <laughs> let's. Like, why don't you come over here and so, and so you can do better? <laughs> okay, I suck. I admit it. Racism. What an interesting name. Um, I don't really believe in isms, whether it's like fascism or Marxism. I think the rule is, you know, I don't believe in isms. I only believe in me. How's that for a Chicago story, Jim? Uh, as soon as I put this, I'll I'll try to actually see if I can. Oh my God! Oh man, that was so close. Jamal Headington, hello. Welcome to the channel, new people. No idea how you found the stream, but. Hopefully you're not like uh, trolls or something. So anyway, um, Jim, I was too. That was part. That was four. I was pretty good actually. It, it, tell the story. So I was too cheap to have the guy ship it. Either it would have cost me like probably three dollars or something. So I said, I said, can we meet up in person? And the guy was like, uh, Yeah, sure, I guess. So what I remember was. He said, hey, do you know this place? And He was in Staten Island. He said, I was in Brooklyn. He said, you know this place called the Roland Roaster in Sheepshead Bay? And I was like, no. And uh, he, and he said, well, come. It's a, you don't know that. How can you not know that place? Everybody goes there. It's so good. And I was like, I don't know the place. But, like, you know, is that where you want to meet? He's like, yeah, yeah. So I took my brother with me because I was actually scared of being killed. Um, so my brother came with me. And... Uh, we got this guy, and he was like, he was, what I remember about him was that he was a very big guy, and he had a very deep voice, 
and he gave me the games, and I gave him the money, and he was like, good deal, huh? And I was like, yeah, it's a good deal. And he's like, tell me the truth. Isn't this a really good deal? And I was like, yeah, yeah, no, it was a good deal. And I was just thinking, like, I got to get out of here as fast as possible. But I, luckily I survived. But, like, for years after that, my brother would always come to me and say, like, hey, Stu, good deal, huh? Anyway, that's a great story, but that's the first thing that came to my mind. Hey, Tony Pepperoni, how's it going? Hey, Evie. H, <laughs> great deal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Actually, I just I, I just remembered a much better story. Was I small back in the day? I guess I was smaller than I am now. Um, when I was in high school, I was very very skinny, and uh, when I was eighteen, I was probably like in amazing, amazing, amazing shape. But it, unfortunately, it didn't last. I'm massive now. How do you know? Are you like are you standing behind me? Are you standing next to me or something? I think you're all in amazing shape at 18. Not everyone is in amazing shape at 18. Some people like are like fat at 18 also. Some people are thin. <laughs> Maybe just a shape. <laughs> I, I, Jamal, I'm in, I'm in my 40s. And I'm not Italian, but I think this guy was... This guy in the story was Italian. His name was Rudy. But anyway, um, it reminds me of a different story, actually, which I'll, I'll tell while I, while I try to do this hole here. I don't know how I'm going with this. I'm in the sand. How do, actually, how do I just put there's sand there? I can't even see the damn sand. It's so far away from here. Like, so I end up somehow in sand? That's bullshit. Excuse me. That is real bullshit. Can I move it? Can I cheat? No, you can't. You can't move it. It's in sand. Uh, I guess I have to use the sand wedge. Last stream said, told us, thanks guys for support. It's really fun to hang out. You learn more and more video games. Would you consider making a video call with us? Kind of special stream. That's an interesting question. I mean, I guess what I probably need to do is, like, make a Patreon or something. That's what everyone's doing. And then one of the, like, the, uh, the, the tiers will be, you know, have a private Discord channel and a, do a video call with me, you know, once in a while or some stupid thing like that. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll do that at some point. I, I really don't know. Um... Evie says, I wasn't fat as hell, like, silly 50 push up steps. Oh, you were as fat as hell. Yeah, I see, I, I wasn't fat, but I, I could do lots of push ups and sit ups, but, um, what I, I played a lot of basketball at that point, and I was, I was just playing massive basketball and in really good shape. But after I started, you know, college in earnest, it would sort of like went away. Um, do I smoke the Headington pack? I don't smoke nothing. I keep myself clean from that perspective. Alright, what am I doing here? Let's try... I don't know which one to do. I'll try 5 iron. Get there! He seems, when he says get there, he always seems like it's doing good. In the fairway. I'm lying. <laughs> I could be lying, but like, why would I lie? It makes no sense. Alright, let's tell you another story. Um, this was... So the first story I said was, was when I was like, you know, I like, don't uh, well, I don't want to exactly date myself, but it was it was it was over twenty years ago. The second story was probably also close, probably fifteen years ago. But like, I was married at that point, and there was I saw a, a listing on eBay for a bunch of CDs that a bunch of games like but loose CDs, and it was obviously a game reviewer. Because some of the CDs had like Gold Master or Demo CD and stuff like that. And one of them was a loose CD for a game which I heard of, but I never actually saw a copy of it. And it's called Who's Who's Fat Lou. That's the name of the game. Who's Fat Lou? Um, do I have a troll story? Yeah, I have a troll. I can tell a story about this chat right now, Jamal. <laughs> do you ever get trolls? Uh, yes, I do sometimes. Um, Wait, hold on. I'm telling you a story, Jim, and then you can tell your story. And by the way, Luis, I, I have I ordered the uh, the PC version of the the Cowbug Collection, like the Collector's Edition or whatever. Nicole, you're not a troll. Um, so 
Anyway, for whatever reason, I decided to do pick up this. I decided to pick up this thing from this guy because he, he was in Manhattan, and I don't know why I just did that, but I just but I did, and basically like it was like he said, "Oh, come in my an apartment number, or whatever." It's an apartment building, and it was like the shadiest building you've ever seen in your life. When I got there, it looked like really scary, and I went in and there was nobody there. It was like completely deserted, and. I was thinking to myself, like, you know, what am I doing here? What are you, you're crazy. And my wife already told me, like, you're crazy. Why are you going there? Why don't you just, like, get it shipped in the mail like any other normal person? And I went there, and I got it. And it was, it was, and it was okay, but, like, the place was really not a good place to be. And I, I, I mean, did a lot of dumb things, I guess, when I was younger is the bottom line. So what's Jim's story here? His historical collecting story was, too. Visiting three clubs in the early 2000s with a thrifting park. There was a convertible next to the park with trash in the seats. Where the collectors couldn't take it, just grabbed all the trash out of the convertible and threw it away. And I bet you I knew who it was. <laughs> this first name started with a C, Jim? I would, I would not be surprised if it did. 24 yards. Let's use the... This one. You're a NASCAR driver, Reese? That's why you're called a racism? That's funny. It's cute. I don't believe you, but it's still funny. This game is from 1990, Louise. Okay, let's look at the grid, because otherwise I get yelled at by somebody. The grid doesn't really tell me anything, but I, I looked at it anyway, because it made someone happy. <sighs> I suck. What's my favorite shmup of all time? Um, Schmups is the one type of game that I'm not so into, honestly. So I don't know off the top of my head. Because I fear it's Shmup of all time. There are, there are a lot of that I've played. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't really have a good answer for this, but like, I'll say Gradius just for the heck of it. But I, I don't, I'm not really so into Schmups. Am I black? <laughs> you can see my face, so if you can't tell if I'm black or not, there's a problem. All right, that's not bad. I mean, it was six, but so you're Jamal Hennington, the Jamal Hennington. That's I, I, I never thought I would actually get a chance to meet the Jamal Hennington. Four hundred twenty-five yards to marker. Okay, let's see what we got here. Nineteen forty-one is is good too. Um. 1943. Did I play that one? I don't remember. Shit. Looks like I hit the tree, Jim. Did you even come out of the tree? Greatest fighter? If I put a white background, I'll be black. <laughs> Maybe. Um, greatest fighter. I mean, Street Fighter 2. Jamal, I hate to never heard of her. Um, I can't always asleep. Street Fighter Two, I mean, was the was the the OG basically. Street Fighter Two Championship Edition was was the one I played tons and tons and tons and tons of. I mean, obviously, there's lots of other you know sequels or whatever else, but I, I think the original, not the original. I think the, the one where you can play is the bosses. Just so the Championship Edition was the one that I really enjoyed the most. Always asleep. We need you here to help clean up the, sh the chat over here. Everyone's getting really excited for some reason. Not bad. This is a par five. Once again, I have a chance to actually make par. Probably not going to happen. Let's try. Oh! Wow, so close. Alright, now if I don't get in now, <laughs> I really suck. Nice 
Par! Finally! Super Street Fighter 2 is not the one with the bosses. Super Street Fighter 2 is one that introduced Cammy and Fei Long and DJ and other, whatever the other guy's name was. That was Super Street Fighter 2. Alright. What about this one here? How far is that? Oh, not that far, actually. DJ, I said DJ. The other guy was the, uh, the, the like the big guy. I forget his name. T-Hawk. Oops. Looks like I hit the tree, Jim. I think I see him. Tony, I see as I. Oh, crap. I know what else to do. I guess I have to go around. I see an electric mechanical playlist. Those type of games are super rare. What do you see? Which one are the most ahead of its time design? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Um. I don't know. I have to think about that a little bit. I'm not sure. It's a good question, though. Jamal, you're an idiot. <laughs> not only you're not right, but you're not you're not you're not making a good show for yourself either. That's not really what I wanted to do, but at least I got myself out of that place with the, where I couldn't see the hole. Shit. This is a par three somehow, and I already hit three. I don't have to look it up. I already know. I don't look up. I don't look up nothing. That I, that I don't, if I already know the answer, you can look it up if you want. They are extremely cool. I agree, and it's very hard to find them. That's that's the, sort of the problem. Too hard. Oh no, Ugh, that's terrible. That would have been. I'm not wrong. You, you're a liar, sir. You, sir, are a liar. And, uh, that's not good. If you're gonna lie on my channel, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I am not wrong. Where's, what is this? This is like to guide you where to go? Is that what this is? I really don't know. The wind is really blowing this direction to the left. <laughs> Jenna tolls. <laughs> it seems like we have some people's alter egos in here. I do like the the names. It's interesting. I mean, I like cricket. That'll play. I like cricket also. This is not it, of course, but it could be. You would know the difference. What a perfect shot. Hit the tree, but in the rough. But that was that was a really good shot. Otherwise, there's a par five. Remember, I've only hit it two times already. Am I better than Gamer's Grotto? What kind of question is that? Better at what? Much better than Gamer's Grotto at uh, at old TRS-80 games. <laughs> Should I better answer? Uh, what if happens I don't answer it? Ooh. 
so close and yet so far. I did answer it. It's I, better than t at TRS-80 games. Depends what you're asking about. Like, I'm not better at him than uh, exposing myself in public. Um... I always just sleep says, I have an F1 driver, far superior skill in a NASCAR driver. I know how to turn right. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. No, I'm not I'm not exposing myself. Uh, play Tron? I mean, maybe, but not now. I'm probably gonna land this right into that uh, into that sand, I bet you. That should be a perfect swing. But I guess the the wind took it. That'll play. Can I play the SNES Classic Donkey Kong 2? Donkey Kong Country 2. Yes, but not now. Um, here's a legit question for Stu. For your power to collect for, place on your stream, I'd say TRS-80. Well, TRS-80 is probably my second favorite platform to collect for, but my actual favorite platform to collect for a gym is IBM. I was going to say DOS, but not necessarily DOS. Let's try here. I think I'm the top dog. Yeah, I do. In this channel. This is my channel. Shit. That wasn't really very good. Can I chip it if I want to? Oh, you can. That's not really as far as I want it to go, but... Well, I hit the tree, but at least I passed the tree. <laughs> and we should make mortal enemies. It could be only one. Well, if there could be only one, I think I'm the one. <laughs> now, there's a lot of people that collect IBM. I, I, unfortunately, I don't have a copy of, like, Alley Cat or Mule or, or a couple of other games, but I do have a pretty impressive collection. I gotta chip it again. You only about 800 titles is a lot. I wouldn't, uh, you know, tell you to sneeze at. Nick Gurr. Bye, Jamal. The only thing I knew about Jamal Hennington is that A, he was black, and B, he was a liar. So we actually, actually in retrospect, I knew nothing about Jamal Hennington. Uh, I still have to do this stupid chip again. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Yeah. Holy cow! It went in. It was only—it's a par. It's a par four. That was my sixth hit, but that was still an accomplishment. <laughs> He's the greatest fighter of all time. Could be. I mean, I thought that was like Muhammad Ali. The sand. Damn. Look at you. You are talking to you. How can I look at you? No, you're, you're not even like your face is not in here, so. Don't put it to orbit. Why not? It was a good, sh good hard shot. That was a bad shot, though. But still got close draw to the go. Too hard. 
Pit Fighter is your favorite fighter. Hey Dorian Karen. Get there. I don't think it's getting there. When he says get there, it makes you think it's gonna be a good shot, but I, mean, I guess it was a bad shot. That was a bad shot. Shit. Come on. The grid is like flat. I guess I have to have these terrible holes occasionally so that I can, so my good holes look better. Oh, now your Brad Pitt is the greatest fighter. That's funny. I guess he's thinking of Fight Club. Now, I, I'm really curious if I try to hit this guy over here. I don't know if this is a guy, but there must be a guy in this cart. Like, what happens if I try to hit him? That'll play. That'll play. Too late, Jim. Is this game new? God Jesus. God, God. It's from 1990. I, I feel like all these people are the same people. It's, just, it's, just, it's the same one guy who thinks he's very funny. Too far? A little too far. See, if I can actually putt, like, this would be super easy to get this one in. Come on, man. Get there! Oh! Oh! Damn! So close. I'm sure Stu's hard out God watching his stream. I have only one question for you, God. What does God need with a starship? How far is that? 415 yards. That's pretty far. Oh, so it's trying to tell me to go like this way? Alright, I'm going to go that way. Look at the wind. Really, my favor. Shit! I was only off by a small amount of the bottom, but it was terrible. Oh, my God. That's that 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 kill this 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 this. I should take a mulligan on that because this, this is. I'm dead. <laughs> I went backwards one hole. I think I did too. I'm in big trouble here, actually. Wow! How did I do that? That's amazing. I'm not sure what happened, but... Not far enough. Damn it. Next time, pitching wedge. Thanks. I already blew this one. So I don't even care anymore. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Man, I'm not going all the way far away. <laughs> hey, stop rolling! I should have looked at the grid. Well, I don't. The grid doesn't tell me anything, so it makes no difference. Well, it tells you something, but it doesn't tell me anything. This way it is in real life. How's it in real life? Not for the professionals. What a 90... 
So there was nothing there. Hmm. 189 yards to pin. Right, here we go. Put that wind. You don't play golf. <laughs> so how do you say it's what it is in real life? It's sort of funny. So it said Jimmer try the pitching wedge. That's not bad. Use the grid. The, we have, there's no grid in real life, by the way. That's that's not either, which I, it's a fallacy. I don't know if you're aware of that, but there's no grid in real life. Close, but not close enough. So far away. Doesn't anybody stay in one place anymore? I have positive 32 altogether. With some water here. Probably led right into it. I don't even know where I'm going. That's 179 yards. Stu's gay reviews, you're me. Well, you're not, you're not anywhere near as attractive as me, so. I guess you haven't made it in YouTube land unless you get some trolls. Hey, Pirate Gear Boy, how's it going? Yeah, I had to expand my game. I am playing the, uh, the Pinehurst Country Club. Nice shot. I'm really good at the driving. I'm really bad at the putting. Look at this. Look how look how close I got. Top five gay songs. The only one I know is that one from South Park. But I forget how it goes already. <laughs> it's gay stop being insulted to the house you're trying too hard. Yeah, I agree. Stop, 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 stop. Please, please get this in. Please get this in. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Nice bird. A birdie! Woohoo! Yes! Finally! <laughs> I'm asking for it. How am I asking for it? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Nice bird. It's got my my driving game is so good. My putting game is so terrible. Par three. Too far. The diamond to the rough. Oh, way too far. Shit. Whoops is right. Where, where's... Is that the hole over here? 29 yards. I don't think I'll be able to putt all the way from here. Look at that. Look how, look how it curves, too. I mean, I'll try. Not even close. You can do it. Cameron Boyce. Somebody keeps changing their name, I think. 
49 feet to pin. Uh, yeah, let's look at the grid again. I probably have to get do it like a little bit this way. Not enough to get over that stupid hole. Well, I didn't know about that Pirate Gear Boy, except Jim told me about it, so that's why I didn't use it in the last stream. Oh, shit. I suck. I suck. I suck. Yes, we know that I suck. Cameron Bush, you're back? Oh, man, I really missed you. Thank you for coming back. Yeah, please, yeah, please text your mom, because I miss him a lot, too. And um, tell him that, you know, just my life is not the same without him. And I really want him to come back. Tell him that, you know, whatever I said to make him upset, I really didn't mean it. Hey, Hopster Key, how's it going? We got a lot of interesting people in the chat today. So I'm always glad when some normal people show up. Um, one more hole, that's it. Jamal's a terrible friend. Oh, what's this? Like the uh, this is like the, uh, the place where they all chat, chill at the end. That's sort of cool. Right, here we go. What a shot! Did I break the window? Well, the, the, the thing is right in front of here. It looked like I was so close, like I broke the window. <laughs> But I guess that wasn't the case. Yeah, it's definitely STU. Jamal, welcome back. I really can't live without you, man. How am I supposed to live without you? How am I supposed to carry on? When everything I'm living for is gone. Did I break the window now? Sort of. So many weirdos tonight. <laughs> Agree. How's my wife? My wife is good. Hey, Cameron, don't be talking that way to my man, Hopster Key. Hopster Key's been here way longer than you. So you don't get talked to that way. What kind of a weird ass thing about doing here? too far there. Not too bad. Interesting thing I noticed with this game, if you try running out of 4.77 megahertz 88, the intro works. Was it, does, it, does it have sound, Pirate Gear Boy? We get to maybe the mouse cursor is correct to you and it crashes. Well, it's, it says on the uh, box it requires an, an, an AT. Damn it. I used the grid. didn't help. All right, well... My score is basically I had one really good hole here. <laughs> I think I had one par. I think that was this one. And then I, oh no, no this wasn't the par. The, there was I had one par. This one here. And everything else was a disaster. So, but we got to see the exciting, uh, the exciting uh, what's it called? The exciting guy. Uh, no, I got a par too. I got a par also here, here, Jim. And then I got a birdie over here. So I got a par and a birdie. The sound works with sound blaster. Really. So I'm curious if the sound works with uh, with a speaker. Muslim kaboom. All right, that's not that's that's already interesting. Like, not cool. I don't think. Um, probably around a good time to end the stream here. I, anyway, you got to see what the course looks like. That was the that was the intent. I had a good time playing also. 
Um, I'm, it's already 12.30 here on the East Coast, but there's a good chance I can do another stream um, tonight and play a little more Klingon Honor Guard. Well, you can stay, but like, you know, they say, Muslim Kaboom, closing time, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. So, because there's not going to be there's not gonna be a place to stay, that's the problem, like, when I end the stream, the virtual world is going to disappear. Wow, Nicola, 5.24 a.m., I'm impressed. Where are you, in the U.K.? And you have to work? Sue sings, Jim exit stage left. Exit! Stage left! Heavens to Murgatroyd, even! Thank you, Dorian. Always as I'll say and start throwing elbows. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I'll talk out for you, right? <laughs> You can check out any time, but you can never leave. Welcome to the Hotel California. That's what I should have been saying. Um, you live in Zimbabwe? I believe, yeah, it's probably true. Anywho, um, like I said, I'm probably going to stream again tonight for uh, to play some Klingon Honor Guard with the walkthrough. But that's it for Lynx. Championship course, number number something, I don't know, Piner's Country Club. And uh, if you like this thing and you're watching after the fact, make sure you like and subscribe and leave some good comments. And don't worry about the crazy people in the chat. Um, it's always not always this crazy, so feel free to come back and participate in the chat and, and leave some live feedback. As you see, I talk to everybody, even the trolls and even the crazy people, because trolls are people too, everybody. You should know that. Trolls are just people who are look, just looking for attention, just like everybody else, you know. They're getting, trying to go through this life, and maybe things aren't going so well for them, and they're like, you know what? Maybe I can go, like, bother somebody, or, or I can go to Stu and, like, hang out with him because he's a good guy, and he'll accept me for who I am, even though I am, a you know, a troll. Um, he, he accepts me because, you know, he, he, you know, he knows that, like, you know, everybody could be, like, a big loser one time in their life or we'll get a rough patch and you know how it is so anyway thanks everyone for being here thanks nicola thanks dorian thanks pirate gamer boy thanks uh, jim for sure thanks hopster key it's funny always because you handle the trolls pretty well some of their harm was kind of fun um gamers grotto like told me like that guy used to come over here and for all i know this, this some of these people are him um you know huge ass that guy he said that like when I wasn't throwing him out, it was, like, pissing off all the other regulars in the chat. I think it was pissing him off. I don't think it was really pissing everyone else off. From my perspective, you know, this is, like, a common area. As long as people, like, generally behave themselves, if they want to act like fools, like, that's okay with me. Um, you know, I, I'm, like, a fool, too, so whatever. But uh, I'd much rather people come and, you know, be themselves and not try to disrupt, you know, the, everybody else. Just, just be friendly here. Like, there's no reason, like... To be a dick, I'd be mean, like, we're, 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 I'll interact with you if you're a dick, but like, I'd ra much rather know who you really are and uh, we can have a more intelligent conversation. Yeah, Nicola, if you want to pay me, you can. Go for it. All right, everybody, this is it for this stream. Hopefully, we'll be back in a little bit. But for now, peace out, everybody, and have a good night. Bye bye. <laughs>